Hey, hello there, I'm Dennis. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Dragonfly BSD. In a previous video, I said I was going to switch over to Dragonfly BSD and try that out. See how it worked on real hardware and real use scenarios. And I must admit, I'm a little bit disappointed. I did get it to load in EFI mode. I was able to get the internet Wi-Fi going. And I was able to mount USB drives. But I was not able to do anything with audio. If I brought up Simple Screen Recorder, and I'll show that in this video, the screen would just hang up. Not the screen, but the computer would just hang up. And in this video right here, I'm going to show you that. We'll get to a point and the video is just going to freeze. Or the computer is just going to freeze. And the only way out is to hold the power button down until it powers off. <laughs> and then reboot. And it happened more times than I wanted it to. So here I'm going to play around in it for a few minutes and see if I can intentionally make it hang up and go from there and i did put a usb stick in and i'm gonna go ahead and mount that if i can and i've already run the cam control device list and the d message and usb config in order to find out specifically what the letter and designation is for my USB drive. So far it hadn't froze up, so we've mounted a USB drive. And I made a directory in my home directory instead of going in the route of putting it in my, uh, in, in root, just for ease of getting to it. And so far I hadn't froze up either. <laughs> this time, I'm just gonna bring up a couple of programs or a couple of files and see if it freezes. So far, so good. And that's the thing, you just don't know when it's gonna happen and what you're gonna be in the middle of. I was in the middle of collecting notes several times and it just hung up and I lost all my notes. And one of the reasons is for this video is to show you that. When I use Simple Screen Recorder and use the audio, it'll just crash. Go bye-bye. See? Now if I bring it back, back up, and when I get to the audio part, untick that so it's not recording any audio, you'll see. Click on Start Recording, and you can see it's working. So as long as I didn't do anything with audio, simple screen recorder would work i did install obs studio froze right up no control over my mouse nothing with my keyboard nothing nothing but power off okay so here's neo pets show you what the what system is dragonfly 6.0 got 16 gigs of ram here's the boot screen just to show you that we do have efi enabled see it's this is the efi boot block it crashed on me so i had to start over showing you crashed again <laughs> gonna try to show you some of the applications that i did manage to install you just saw cheese cheese never did webcam d never did put itself in the users group so i wasn't able to put myself in the webcam d group therefore the cameras when they or the cheese when it would open so they would say no available recording or camera so i got some games installed octo package come in Stretto image viewer that came in by default. 
simple screen recorder, Super Tux, Super Tux 2, System Monitor, Tux Cart, Tux Type, VLC, Videos. Now, I never did figure out what this, this primarily function was here. It says General Display and Audio. So that indicates to me that it's some sort of recording device or software, but I never did see what it was good for. Here, I'm guessing you could... It shows RAI period TV. So I have no idea what that is. I didn't ask for it. That's for sure. X burn, X term, XF burn. Those come in by default. All right. Save that. We'll get back into it. And there's really not much more to show. OBS Studio never would open up. Hating Live did work, and I was able to adjust my audio levels, but I was having to do it through a command line. DSP Mixer is not available. I just looked for feather pads so I could make some notes, and it's not installed by default, and I had forgot to install it at this point. So we'll go ahead and install it. So far, video is still working. <laughs> Make the font a little bigger. And I had to redo a bunch of video because when it would crash, it would, the video would be there, but it would be useless. So this is how I'm going to begin my notes, note taking. But this thing is huge, 147 gigs. Is the size 139 gigs? That's six gigs that it's using. Three is not a command. I found that out. That's because we're in a the Z ZFS. So I'm doing this video during the second day of fooling around with Dragonfly BSD and seeing what I could come up with and make it work. The Wi-Fi was the first thing that I tackled. Got that working. I had to plug in a landline to make the installation, but once the installation was uh, done, then I was able to get the Wi-Fi working, which was an accomplishment. <laughs> I'll I'll also include titles to tell you what I did in order to get the Wi-Fi working. What I followed off of the wiki itself, or not the wiki, but the handbook itself didn't work. I had to take it one step further and put some entries into the bootloader.conf as well as the rc.conf, but I had to do that anyway. But I'm, like I said, I'm a little disappointed. I was kind of, I was interested in getting Dragonfly BSD because when I did my video on it, it intrigued me. I was, I was very happy with what I found on the virtual box or virtual machine. But when I put it on real hardware, first of all, getting it to boot to EFI, originally a couple months ago, it wouldn't even load on UEFI, so I don't know, I downloaded a new ISO, and on this ISO it booted right up to UEFI, so it must have been a bug that they knew about and had applied a patch for. Yep, here I'm saying anytime I select audio in the record audio option in simple screen recorder, it just crashes. And I'm a, I'm assuming that OBS was having the same problem, although it would not even open. Mouse out of the middle of the screen. Oh, that's the other mouse. Audacity is not available for Dragonfly BSD. And that's sort of like Strike 3. OBS Studio wouldn't open. I mean, I know there's command lines and other 
audio software available, but Audacity is what I use. And if I can't use it, then I'm in trouble to start with. Now here I'm going to show you the, look at the RAM usage down in the middle column on the left side of that. It says memory and it's using 2.8 gigabytes. And that's with simple screen recorder running, but with no audio. And I think I got a text file open and now the system monitor. And so that is just ridiculous to be that high unless there's a problem. Almost three gigabytes. And notice uh, the lag when I do switch categories or tabs here. Getting ahead of myself on the notes. I can talk faster than I can type. So this will give you some of the idea or idea of some of the programs that are running. And nothing in there seems to have any check marks on it or any kind of indication that it's just going wild. That's a lot of resources. <laughs> Simple screen recorder using 223 megs. But that certainly doesn't account for 2.8 gigabytes. <laughs> You'll notice the lag when I do switch categories, tabs. But, yep, big time lag. Nine point two gigabytes, and that's not what a lot of software installed. There is some, but not a lot. So OBS won't open. Audacity is not even available. Although I saw it on their website, and it, it looked to me like it was available. So maybe it was at one time, but it's definitely not now. And again, I have no choice but to pass on Dragonfly BSD if it won't do the simple things that I want it to do, such as uh, editing audio files, using OBS to record videos, using audio, using simple screen recorder. <laughs> Just a lot of paper cuts. And I, I I just really am disappointed. I thought when I first was having some problems, I said, well, I can work those out. But no matter what I did, it did not improve. If anything, it just got worse, it seemed like. It might be because I was using it more, trying to make it work. But for some reason, it would just crash. Now, there is one thing that I did not do. And that is, I could have turned the EFI function off in the BIOS and booted legacy BIOS and possibly not had these problems. I don't know. But as you know, EFI is, and there is no new <laughs> legacy BIOS machines built today. And so therefore, if it won't boot to EFI and work properly, then that is definitely a problem. A problem that needs to get worked out. And they may be working on that. Like I said, the first time I tried to install this on an EFI system, it wouldn't even, it would say no uh, boot device available. So I think next on this new machine or this machine, which is a HP Pro G400, I believe. And we'll put probably Ghost BSD on it and give Ghost BSD a legitimate try. Yep, HP Pro G400, Intel Pentium processor. So, appreciate y'all watching. If you're gonna try Dragonfly BSD, keep it in your virtual box. If you don't have a lot of need, you can use it. I didn't even get to printing. I just got frustrated because it kept hanging up on me. So, y'all have a great day.
I had copied a file over to the USB drive, which was a, a text file, plain text document. And for some reason, it said an unknown format when I tried to get it over into another machine. And I'm not sure what that was about, so I went back and redid it, this time making sure that it was a plain text document. Here's the result of running CAM control device list. The important part here for me was DA. No, this it's not even showing my USB drive at this point. I, I just plugged it in and I'll wait a few seconds and see if CAM control dev list will pick it up and it should, it will. Yeah, I was gonna try to mount it, but I'm gonna make sure it's listed first. And so far it's not. Try again, again, one more time. And there it is. USB disk two, DA eight. Now I can mount it. And it's mounted. And it's mounted in my home folder under USB. Yep, this was the one that said unknown format. So I had to copy it back over into the USB drive. And we'll stop the recording. And I'm doing all my editing on Void Linux, a different machine altogether. And I'm putting in the audio. <laughs> kind of weird talking and reading what I'm writing. Okay. I think that's it. Copy those over to my USB. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.